right, boys and girls. Do you know what I am? Can you take a guess? That's right. I'm a butterfly. And I'm going to teach you some things about butterflies. Did you know that butterflies like me have four wings? I know it looks like we only have two, but we actually have four. We have things on our feet called taste receptors. They're on our feet. We attach our eggs to leaves with a special type of glue. Fully grown caterpillars attach themselves to a twig or a leaf before shedding their outside layer of skin to reveal a hard skin underneath known as a chrysalis. Then it turns into me, a butterfly. An adult butterfly will emerge from the chrysalis where it will wait a few hours for its wings to fill with blood and then dry before flying for the first time. Isn't that so neat about butterflies? I bet you didn't know that. Hopefully you learned something and have fun. And if you see me flying around in your backyard, make sure you say hi. Hello, boys and girls. I am a ladybug. And even though I have the word lady in my name, I'm not really a boy or a girl. I'm just called a ladybug. And ladybugs are actually a type of beetle. Did you know that also I can live up to almost one year? That's right, and that's a long time for a bug. And another funny thing is I'll tell you, is you see those two things in front of my face? Those are my antenna. And that's how I taste and smell with. That's what I use. That's right. Not my mouth, but my actual antennas. Well, I hope you learned something about me today. And if you see me flying around, make sure to say hi. And I'll try to say hi back. Bye-bye. Hello, boys and girls. I am a bee. You might see me flying around all of the flowers and the trees. That's what I do. I help make flowers grow by pollinating them. Here's something else that you might not know. Bees like me have five eyes and six legs. Worker bees are females. That's right, worker bees are girls. And the average beehive where I live and bring things to and make honey with can hold around 50,000 bees. Isn't that neat? So don't be afraid of me when you see me this summer. I'm just out trying to help feed people in my beehive and work all day long. Bye-bye, boys and girls. Hello, boys and girls. Have you ever been outside during the summertime and see little lights flickering on and off in the trees and in big fields and maybe your backyard or around the sidewalk? Well, that's me. You see me, a firefly. And I'm a nice little bug that flies around and lights up. In fact, I'm actually not really a fly. I'm cousins with the ladybug, which is a type of beetle. That's right, a firefly like me is actually a beetle. And even though I don't bite or sting, I can be poisonous to lizards and to birds if they decide to eat me. And that's the way that I can kind of protect myself from getting eaten by a bird or a lizard. So I just like to fly around and light up the areas where it's kind of dark so that you can see and you can see me. So if you see me at all during the summer, make sure you say hi and I'll give you a blink back. Okay, boys and girls, bye-bye. Hi, boys and girls. Do you know what kind of bug I am? I have very big wings and a long, long tail. 
and lots of people are afraid of me when they see me because I'm one of the bigger bugs that fly around during the summertime. I'm a dragonfly, and you don't need to be afraid of me because I don't sting people, and I generally don't bite people either, unless they try to hurt me. I do like to fly around and eat other small buggies, even things like mosquitoes, to help keep them away from you so they don't bite and sting you. Did you know something else? We've been around for over 300 million years. Prehistoric dragonflies like me were much bigger and had a wingspan of two and a half feet. Do you know how big that is? That's about as wide as your refrigerator in your house or apartment. That's pretty big. We also need to warm up in the sun during the morning before we take off. And that helps us fly around for the rest of the day. So if you see me flying around, make sure you send me a wave and I'll buzz by and say hi. Okay, talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hi, boys and girls. I know you know what I am. You see me all over the place, walking around on the sidewalks and the grass and trees. I'm an ant. And did you know that there's over 12,000 different types of ants in the entire world? They also are the longest living insects. The ant, like me, is one of the world's strongest creatures in relation to its size. That means that we can hold things that are much, much heavier than our actual weight. We also hold the record for the fastest movement in the animal kingdom. Ants can be found on every single continent in the, in the entire world except for Antarctica. It's a little bit too cold for us there. And ants don't have ears, and some of us don't even have eyes. We get around by using our antennas and being able to smell things and follow the scent of other ants that walk before us. So when you see me outside, make sure you don't step on me, because I'm just trying to get back home and do some work. So make sure you say hello instead, and I'll just keep on walking and working. All right, boys and girls, see you soon. Hello, boys and girls. I am a grasshopper, and although I might look scary this close, I'm actually not scary at all. In fact, I'm a herbivore, which means that I only eat plants. I don't bite or sting anything. Male grasshoppers, or boy grasshoppers make a singing sound by rubbing our hind legs against one of our hard wings. It kind of almost sounds like a violin. You may hear me when you're in your backyard at night or when your windows are open. Those funny high-pitched sounds are grasshoppers communicating. Grasshoppers actually hear with their abdomen. That's another word for our bellies or our stomachs. And we can jump or leap 20 times as far as our body length. That means that we can actually jump 20 times further than how long we are from our head all the way down to the bottom of our body. That is a far jump. We're very hard to see, but if you do see us, we're very nice and we'll just hop around. So, if you happen to see one of us during the summer, make sure you say hop, show us how to jump, and we'll jump away from you and jump back into the flowers. See you during the summer, boys and girls. Bye-bye.